What up? My name is Edward, and thank you for paying attention to another edition of the Jack Files. Guys, I'm one of those people that like to read tons of news on tons of different websites because I'm trying to give you tons of different news. A lot of it's real serious. I'm going to come out with a few things that I think are pretty damn funny because you know what? People need to know about this kind of thing. But the kind of thing you need to know about is that if you dial 911, you should be able to get expert medical attention. You know what? In New York, you might be fucked if you dial 911. Why? Because the UN Medical Center isn't qualified to provide ER care. That's right, guys. A medical center run, sponsored by the UN is unable to give medical care. And more than that, their head doctor, Dr. Brian uh, Davy, Brian, Brian Davy, is not even licensed to practice medicine. That's right, guys. The head of the UN Medical Center in New York, Dr. Brian Davy, is not even licensed to practice medicine. You're hearing this, like I did. It went one year, and it was like a thousand monkeys just screamed it in your head before it went out the other. You know, it's like what you know what uh, Lewis Black once said. You know. It's something that if you 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 think about it too much, your eyes will explode from the aneurysm that went through your brain. The head of the U.S. UN Medical Center, Brian Davies, is not licensed to practice medicine. And more to the point, uh, the head of their nursing staff, Naomi uh, Manton, uh, Naomi Manton, yeah, is the only registered nurse on their staff. They have a staff of several. They got several nurses on the payroll. But she's the only licensed RN. How fucked up is that? They got a, a medical center that cannot provide ER work. I mean, if you're if you got shot, you're fucked if they take you there because they you know they don't do our ER services. The guy that runs the place isn't even licensed to practice medicine. If you go for him for a broken bone, he might end up saying, "Hey, your vagina's broken. Here's the name of a doctor. Go see him." You never know what's gonna happen. And they've only got one registered nurse out of several that they have on payroll. I mean, and this place ha has been has been racked with scandal uh, again and again and again. Uh, there is even a doctor, uh, Sergey. He, he's Russian. Give me a second. I might not even get this name right. Sergey Olenkovich. Kov. Olenkov. Ole. I'm fucking. His doctor named Sergey. Uh, has been known to self-medicate. What the fuck? What the fuck? They got a doctor here that's running the place, doesn't know shit about medicine. They got one registered nurse and a doctor who's known to medicate. That's right, guys. He's been known to juice himself up. And this place has been rife with scandal. Why has it been rife with scandal? Because two th between 2007 and 2008, they were given $38 million to run the place. $38 million. And yet, they have no, no real nurses working there except for one chick. And here, here's something. One of their nurses, Ruth uh, Agui, Agui, Ruth Agui, I don't fucking know, has a multi-million dollar home in Manhattan. Which, between her husband and her, have no financial means to have acquired it. Let me say that again. For those of you that don't understand what I just said, they ain't got the money to pay for it. Yet they have a multi-million dollar home in Manhattan. In Manhattan, you gotta have major cash to have a home there. But yet they don't have the money to have it. So how the fuck did they get it? You asking yourself that question? I'm asking myself that question. Guys, the UN Medical Center is sponsored by the UN. A place that gets tax money from America and we're paying we're paying for a doctor who does not know shit about medicine to run the place for one registered nurse out of several one registered nurse out of several from what I read here there's at least between nine and eleven nurses and only one is, one of them is registered they were given 38 million dollars yet they have no ER they have a doctor Sergey Olenkov Olenkov Fuck, I don't know. Who's been known to self-medicate. And what I mean self-medicate, I mean that he's already been reported to the cops. And 
Newsweek has already done a report on these fuckers. What the hell? This is a place strifed with scandals, including one where a nurse and her husband are unable, unable to afford a multi-million dollar home in Manhattan, yet they have one. Ladies and gentlemen, the U.S. the U.N. Medical Center needs to be looked at. More to the point, the place needs to be shut down. They've got one doctor doesn't know shit about medicine, another that's a fucking drug addict, one registered nurse, one that has got some way of funding a multi-million dollar home. And they have no fucking ER. They have no fucking ER. How in the hell is this a medical center? If you're asking yourself the question, I know I am. I mean, there, there, there needs to come a time when places like this need to be accounted for. If you cannot say, you know what? This is what you're being paid to do. How come you're not doing it? And more to the point, how did you get hired to do it if you are not licensed to do it? These people should be brought before a trial, I mean brought before judges, and find out where all this $38 million is going. Because if one of them's got a multi-million dollar home, I think this bitch is spending money. If you got a, if you got a doctor that's on drugs to the point where he can't even concentrate working on you, you're fucked. And if Dr. Brian Davies is the one that's seeing you, you're really fucked because that guy doesn't know shit about medicine. He doesn't know the difference between a broken bone and a dick in your ass. This is the kind of thing I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to open up your eyes and start paying attention to some news services. Go to the New York Times or CNN websites and find out more about the UN Medical Center that is taking tons. And when I mean tons, I mean $38 million last year between 2007 and 2008. So you can be operated but have no ER, no registered nurses, and fucking doctors that don't know shit about medicine. Guys, this is the kind of thing we should be outraged about. And I'm just the guy to give it to you. My name's Edward, and I'm the creator of the Jack Files saying it's all about freedom of speech. If you don't use it, somebody just might take it away. Peace.